gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to the Math Circus! Introducing Cookie Clown, who will never let you down! Introducing Dumbbell Bay, who lived in a cave! Introducing Mr. Mad Mystic, who's always so optimistic. So, sit down, take a seat, pay attention, and welcome once again to the Mad Circus. And now, here is Cookie Clown. The clown with the upside down frown! <laughs> Are you in? Are you in? Are you ready for a math game? So I! So, by the end of this math game, you should be able to. Identify numbers that are ten times larger than the numbers one to ten. And recognize that a number ten times larger than a one digit number has zero units and the same number of tens as there were units in a one digit number. You should be able to figure out subtraction of multiples of 10 by using what you know about subtracting units. Do some of these sound the same as they were in the last game? They should because we're going to be using a lot of what we learned then in this game. So let's get started. In this game, we are going to use subtraction facts that we already know to help us to work out answers to other questions. We also need to remember some of the work we did in our last game. If you don't have your whiteboard and whiteboard marker yet, you need to go and get it because we're really going to be using it in this game. Go on. Go on. Hurry up. Got it? Great. So, my first question. What number is 10 times bigger than 1? Okay, now write underneath one, two, three, four, and five, the number that is ten times larger than each one. Really good. So, what is ten times larger than two? Twenty. Ten times larger than three? Thirty. Ten times larger than four? And ten times larger than five? Fifty. Really good. So, let's remember from yesterday. What do we know about numbers that are ten times larger than one-digit numbers? X 
accent. The units digit in the one digit number is the same as the tens digit in the multiple of ten. Excellent. What else do we notice? Very good. The numbers that are ten times larger all finish with a zero. Great job! We've worked out the numbers that are ten times larger than one, two, three, four, and five. Now we're going to do the same for six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. So rub what you had on your whiteboard for one, two, three, four, and five. And now write the numbers six, seven, eight, nine, and ten on the top of your whiteboard and see if you can figure out the numbers that are ten times larger. So, let's do the first one together. We know that ten times larger than one is ten, and ten times larger than two is twenty, and ten times larger than three is thirty, ten times larger than four is forty, ten times larger than five is fifty, so ten times larger than six should be very good, 60. See if you can figure out the rest. Did you work it out? It wasn't so hard, was it? That's right, let's take a look. We already know that 10 times larger than six is 60. What is 10 times larger than seven? 70, fabulous. And 10 times larger than eight? 80. How about 10 times larger than 9? Fantastic! 90. Last one. 10 times larger than 10? This one might have been a little tricky. Now you got it. 10 times larger than 10 is 100. what we already know about subtracting one digit numbers to help us subtract multiples of 10. Ready? Here we go. Write down this number, this sum on your whiteboard. Seven, take away three. Once you've written it on your whiteboard, work it out. Did you work it out? So, seven take away three is? Very good, it's four. So, using what we already know about multiples of 10, and what we learned from the last game, work out 70 take away 30. Write it on your whiteboard and work it out. If you remember everything we've been working on, it should be really easy. Fantastic. 70 take away 30 is 40. Wasn't that a fabulous game? You guys are doing so well. It's absolutely brilliant. And the Math Circus is over for today, but we will see you all very soon! <laughs>